it's been a tight race out there today. But out in front, in the lead, is as ever Kyle Motor City McKinney. Yeah, Don, that boy really belongs to the people, doesn't he? They're loving it. But we should take a look at the rest of the drivers, right? We certainly should. Look at car 57, British-born James Randall. At 21 years of age, this rookie is ripping up the track. Whoa, did you see that? Oh, I sure did. I think we're going to be hearing a lot more from this Randall guy. Yeah, coming out of that final turn, Randall is really slugging it out for the number two spot. But he isn't going to get any higher today as McCain passes the finish line for another spectacular finish. Hey, hey, hey! What the hell was that? I, I, I can't... Is he okay? Can anyone down there hear us? Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh, that... Uh, uh, this... Uh, Jim, this looks serious. Can someone down there tell me what's going on? James Randall just blindsided McCain on the finish line. This looks bad. Oh, it, it, it's just unbelievable. And McCain's two sons. Donnie and Ryan are here today. Heaven only knows what's going through their minds right now. This is just horrible. It's hard to know what to say. What can you say? I don't think racing will ever see us like again. So who are you looking at for next season? I don't know, Paulie. I've seen a lot of good drivers. Just, just uh, not a lot of great ones, right? You know, you're the best damn crew chief in the game today. Something will come your way. Would you look at that kid over there? Looks just like his old man. Donnie McCain. That's amazing. He's damn spooky. Yo, Donnie. Yo, You want to put Bobby over here a favor and race for him? You looking for a driver, Bobby? Sure. What about my kid brother? Is he good? He's my brother, ain't he? These guys are amazing. Now he's running around here looking for drivers. Ryan? Bobby Scott. Heard you. Heard you got a ride for me. I got a test drive for you. You want a ride, you're gonna have to earn it. What, don't five years in open wheelers count for nothing? Not when you're a test driver. Sounds like you got a real handle on me, huh? I keep an ear to the ground. Who you been talking to? Donnie. My brother? I'm not hiring you because of your brother. I'm giving you a shot because I hear you're good. Must be in the blood, eh? Now. Drive. Good. It's very good. I think we're getting there. Can we get another car? I don't like this one so much. Well, maybe I ought to find somebody who does. Another car. Just like his pop. Ryan. It's Paulie. Satriali. Yeah, yeah, I remember you. I knew your father, kid. I know. So I hear you're going to manage me. I'm considering. Considering? <laughs> Ryan. Who is this guy? I figure I gotta be the hottest thing in this town right now. So, you wanna be a star, huh, McCain? Yeah, yeah, why not? Well, shake my hand, and I'll make you a legend. like one of those adrenaline junkies has finally caught up with you. They have? Yep. These guys are so cocky, they'll stake their car against beating you. The thing is, they only consider a driver with a podium per place is worth racing against. Well, looks like we'll be riding home in style, then. Damn. Well, if it isn't the new kid on the block, Mr. Ryan McCain. Oh, you're a fan? I'd sign you an autograph if you want. Oh, I'm impressed. A driver who can write his own name. 
Oh, I know how to do a lot of things. I could take you back to my trailer and I could teach you some. You've got nothing worth learning. See you, McCain. <laughs> got something to say there, Buffalo Bill? I hope you can handle a race car better than you can handle a woman, kid. Oh, yeah? What's it to you whether I can or can't, huh, old timer? Cannonball Jack Johnson. You raced with my father. My father said you were something else. He was right. Get your story straight, you know, for the press. So, why do you want to win the world championship? I don't know, Bobby. I just, uh... Look, I'm just trying to help you, kid. They're going to want to know why. I guess I don't want to be known as Donnie's kid brother all my life. And I don't want people saying I hitched a ride on my pop's name. I want to make my own way. Donnie, you don't care about me or mom. The only thing he cares about is being the next great McCain. I want to win that world championship trophy for me, not for my brother or my pop. Donnie never forgot about you, Ryan. What do you know? I know Donnie McCain. Ryan, good to meet you. Oh, I remember you. I remember seeing you race my pop. A lot of water's passed under the bridge since then. A lot of good drivers, too. But no McCains. Hey, takes one a fancy name to impress me. If you want to do that, you do it on the track. Yeah, okay, we, uh, we got time for a couple more questions, uh, here. Ryan, how do you feel about approaching the power racing tier? Oh, I feel great about this. We got a great car. We got a great team. We got a great crew chief, great manager. I feel great about this. You're really proving yourself as a driver. Thank you. Do you think it's got anything to do with the old McCain magic? Oh, I don't believe in magic. I only believe in hard work and sweat, because that's what got me here. And a fair share of luck, according to your brother. Uh, okay, uh, that's it. Uh, no more questions, thanks. Hi, Mr. McCain. I'm Miss Dumont. You can call me Ryan. We prefer to run this team on a more professional basis, Mr. McCain. Our sponsors expect the highest standards. Do not let us down. Ryan, you just qualified for the power racing tier. How must that feel? Oh, it's been like a dream or something. Can I just take a moment to thank some people out there? I've been receiving so much support. Talking of support, here comes your big brother top driver, Donnie McCain. Donnie, how do you feel about your brother's qualification today? Ah, he's doing okay, you know. I'm real proud of him. And now that he's at your level, do you think he can beat you to the world championship? Well, you never know. Maybe if he takes a few lessons from his big brother, sure. <laughs> Get your damn hands off me. Whoa there, baby bro. Don't give me that baby bro crap. If you want a piece of me, try and take it on the track. I don't want a piece of you. Ryan. We'll do this on the track. We'll do what on the track? Ryan. Ryan, where are you going? Ryan. Ryan McCain, boys. God, come in. Come in, my friends. <laughs> Melanie, come on out of there. Now. Hi, Papa. <laughs> Th there's no need to shout. You know Bobby Scott, Ryan McCain. This is Melanie Sanchez, my assistant. And daughter. I believe I've already had the pleasure. I look forward to working with you. You'll have to do better than that, then, Lefe. Hey, no funny stuff, huh? You keep your mind on the road, and you keep your mind on the paperwork. Don't worry about it, Papa. I prefer guys who do a lot more than just sit on their ass at high speed all day. Nervous? No, I don't get nervous. After all, it's just sitting on your ass at high speeds, right? Well, it's just that it's been 15 minutes since you last hit on me. I thought something might be wrong. No, I was just thinking about my old man. You know, this is the first place he ever raced as a pro. 
Said he threw up for a full two hours before he even got out on the track. You miss him, don't you? No. Yeah, I miss him. I just uh, never got a chance to know the guy, you know? He was always racing, you know, always at the track. And I was kind of young when he died. That must really hurt. I heard the guy got away with it. What's his name? James Randall. He decided it was an accident. I'm over it. Looks like I have a talent for finding great drivers, huh? <laughs> You've done me proud, McCain. <laughs> Eh, it sure is good to be with a couple stand-up guys like you. It's like family or something, right? Looks like it's time to meet the rest of the family. The team's other driver. New guy. Uh, he might be a rookie, but I've seen him drive. And I'm telling you, this guy can race. Oh, Nick! Ryan McCain, Bobby Scott, meet Nick Landers. Nice to finally meet you. Oh, uh... A brain. Yes, and before you ask, I have never met the Queen. Bobby Scott, have we met before? I don't believe we have, but I'm pleased to be working with the best crew chief in the business, and to be supporting a McCain in my first season is a real honor. Your brother Donnie is one hell of a driver. Yeah. Hey, uh, looks like we're gonna have one heck of a damn season, am I right? Nick Landers, a tremendous first season as a rookie. Incredible. Well, thank you, Linda. I like to think I'm full of surprise. Now, I'm sure you don't mind me mentioning that you're in your mid-30s. With such an achievement as a rookie, it begs the question, where have you been all these years? I've been driving, Linda. That's some team you got, McCain. He's quite a driver. Well, he can handle a car, but he's no McCain. Winning a couple of races ain't what makes a driver good. So what does? You don't know. That was the scene last time the brothers McCain met at the racetrack. But soon we'll find out what happens when they meet on the track. Will Ryan triumph over Donnie, or will age and experience outclass youth and raw passion? All I can say is, if there's a heaven, I sure hope it's got cable, because this is one season Kyle Motor City McCain wouldn't want to be missing. This is Linda Yen, PF. <laughs> My hero, Ryan McCain. Don't piss me off, Donnie. I'll stick you right back in that brick. Ha! I'm just glad you were there. A little different than me looking out for you. Well, when were you ever there for me? After Pop died, you took off. It was like me and Mom didn't even exist. So that's your problem? When Pop died, all he left were debts. I raced to keep you two going so you wouldn't have to risk your life to make a buck like me and Pop. Donnie, you never told me that. You never said that. Since when did you ever listen? Figured it was easier looking out for you on the track than off it. Oh, you dumb. Oi! I know you. You're no damn rookie. What? Go to hell, old man. Hey, Ryan, let's pick up the pace already. You need to get up there on that podium or it's going to be a short season for the both of us. That's my boy right there. I'm watching you out on that track and it's like freaking poetry or something, you know? Did I tell you I'd make you a legend? What the hell happened? It was Landers. He didn't slow down. He accelerated into the pit and he hit Bobby. 
You dirty freaking psychopath! What the hell's up with you, huh? It was my right of way. He should nah, have stood Nah, don't there. give me that crap! Hey, remember, I'm here doing you a favor, too. A favor? Just because I got people out there shaking me down for a win don't mean I need you. I can go out there right now and find me a better driver. That's right. I'll go out right now and get McCain. Yeah, go and get the golden At boy. least the guy's still got his own name. Maybe he'd like to find out yours. Yeah, that's right, James freaking Randall. You wanted Kyle McCain out of that race. Yeah? Well, I never asked you to whack the guy. Jack, you gotta take me on. I don't need a secretary, kid. No, you gotta manage me. I gotta? I ain't managed in a decade. I'm out of that game. And you know what else? I ain't looking to get back in. I'd rather ride bareback on a Texas Longhorn. I need you back in. That ain't a reason. I got Bobby and Donnie in the hospital. I got people telling me a thousand different things. Why do you think... Nick, could you tell us your version of the events that sent Donnie McCain to the hospital? It's a crazy sport. These machines are dangerous and people do get hurt. It's a shame, but... And the incident with legendary crew chief Bobby Scott? Well, accidents will happen, especially if you run out onto the pit lane without looking both ways. This season marks your return to the track after being disqualified from the championship. Yes, luckily the wheels of justice turned swiftly and my appeal was successful. Do you still intend to drive with this level of aggression that appears to have gotten you into so much trouble recently? <laughs> well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Thank you. you burn the clutch out again? It's not the clutch. Looks like you two X could use a real professional around here. <laughs> hey, you're okay. He's okay. Why didn't you tell me, Bobby? It's good to see you, man. Hey, Ryan. Hey, look, there's, uh, there's something i got to tell you. As soon as Nick Landers hit Donnie, I knew it was him. Same stunt, same driver. He's no rookie. He's James Randall. The guy that killed my father. I had it out with him trackside. That's why I tried to get rid of me. There's no way they'd let him race on if they knew it was him. We ought to report that Weasley little bastard right now. No, no. I want to handle this. My way. Hey, Ryan. It's good to be on the track with you again. And you, Randall. What? That is your name, isn't it? Bobby regained consciousness. You killed my father. There's no use crying over spilt milk, McCain. I spent 15 years of my life watching the McCain boys hitching a ride on the back of their poor dead dad. I couldn't even get a ride on a garbage truck. Your history, Randall. Accidents happen, McCain. I was cleared of all of those charges, remember? Having good lawyers don't make you any less guilty. I think the press is going to be real interested in finding out your real name, Nick. First, I'm going to burn you up on that track. Ryan, enjoy the race, James. It's going to be your last. 
Maybe it's going to be your last. Hey, don't worry about it, kid. There's always another time. Maybe we shouldn't have let you race, eh? I mean, your mind wasn't on it. You gotta put it behind you, kid. Today just wasn't your day. So what? I reckon next season, we're gonna show them all. Ryan, you did good. A resounding victory for new world champion Ryan McCain, who has now reached the racing career heights of his father before him. Let's join him as he makes his way to the podium. We all did it. You're one hell of a Thanks, man. It means a lot. <laughs> yeah. Maybe later on you could take hey, me up for a while. Hey, you cut this crap and get the hell up there. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, it's been a tremendous season. Your rival with Nick Landers has set the world of motorsport alight. Do you have any words of comfort for your biggest rival? Well, uh, yeah. Just make sure you got a place ready to scrap this piece of junk, right? Bye bye, Nick. Enjoy the ride. I reckon you're about ready to enter the Elite League. You serious? I heard about that. That's a private league, right? That's right. Run by and for us pro race drivers. You need about eight million to even enter. That's how you become the greatest driver. I thought I was the greatest driver. You? Nope. Not yet. Well, how do I become the greatest? You gotta be me. <laughs>